Hey everyone, I'm Jake from the Wavelength team uh, and the role that I perform as shadow artist is to support the participants and the leaders in having creative and successful sessions. Now, it's not always important that we succeed at everything we do, but rather how we celebrate the success no matter how little and how recognising it in others can boost their well-being and confidence. Um, I'm proud to say that I've witnessed this during my time on the Wavelength project, not only from my other members of the team, but from the young people themselves, um, who barely know each other at the start of the project, um, but do connect through their daily struggles and stresses like school life or because of their anxiety problems or low self-esteem or low confidence. Um, they support not only themselves but each other. Um, if someone does something amazing while working in a little group, I've seen the young people be the first ones to jump in and say, that was amazing. Um, and it's really nice to see that because they can build a bond through supporting each other like that um, and it can help others overcome their initial worries and help them grow personally. Setting a personal or musical goal to aim for, like recording a new song or working towards um, a planned performance date or even learning a new instrument can really help you focus on what needs doing and working on to achieve this goal. And once you've completed this goal, it can make you feel really proud that you've uh, finished it with a great sense of accomplishment. Um, for example, say you're trying to record a new song you've written, well done, but it needs recording for other people to listen to, you know, to get it out there. Um, and this can be a massive task for a first timer who's never set foot in a studio before, or who this is the first song they've written. Um, don't worry though, for any significant goal can always be broken down into small steps aimed at tasks um, that build up over time to achieve the goal. Um, taking time to think about all the little steps can be very helpful in planning out what you're going to do and also can give you an idea of what's next, like a checklist. But when we think about music, we think of it as an amazing creative outlet that helps us um, escape to a different place and drift away and forget our worries. However, when we try and think about goals and trying to meet them, it can be difficult, um, especially when other things in our lives distract us, it can be hard to focus. Sometimes overthinking and planning your music can cause a block to your creativity. Um, I can think of several times when I've tried so hard to get, I don't know, uh, a good bass sound or uh, thinking of a, a, a guitar part that I've made but it just needs something a bit better. Um, it can swallow your whole creative process uh, and if you're not careful you can end up getting frustrated or upset with yourself and mainly not get any work done that you plan to get done. Um, in hard times like this, uh, there's a few things that I find helpful. You need to give yourself a break. Like take five minutes, have a breather, put the kettle on, make a drink. You know, take yourself off topic. Go talk to somebody about something else. Um, this short break can help you get out of the space and provide a much needed relief from the difficult spot. Or try exploring something musically without no pressure. Uh, improvise around a new idea or pick up a different instrument. You never know what inspiration can happen when you start something different. And sometimes just having a good mess about with, with your little group can help you change your outlook on a situation. Or take the idea you have now and start changing it about. Move the rhythms around, change up the sound, change up the instrument. You'd be surprised how quick things can change if you start moving everything about. Um, and it could be the start of a new song. Um, but in the end, everyone needs to feel some kind of positive external feedback, whether that comes from peers or band members or family or friends. Um, 
every small recognition, like complimenting somebody on learning that new chord or that new riff or saying how they played the verse part amazingly when it's achieved can be a big boost to someone's self-confidence. Um, someone who thought they couldn't do it or felt they were rubbish uh, and that they were never going to get any better can be lifted up. Consistent positive feedback like this can have a massive impact on someone's well-being and confidence, not only musically but personally and socially. It could give someone who would never perform on stage before because of their anxiety or their low self-esteem the self-assurance that stepping on stage into the limelight. Or it could help someone to take more independence next time they create a song. So thank you for taking the time to watch this video and I hope I see you next time. Bye.